Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, DK1 Original, coming at you from the exact same location. This is probably like my fifth try in recording this. So if you hear anything in the background, it is what it is, okay? I've tried everything that I can and yeah, alright. So I'm still not wearing makeup because... It's winter, I'm treating my skin. I don't really like to wear makeup in winter because I've got problematic skin, but I mean like me giving you guys information that you really didn't ask for. Eh, weird. But anyways, let's jump straight into today's video, which is gonna be the second last video to the series. Um and then next week I will drop the last video, or even this week I'll drop the last video to the series. Um so yeah. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please make sure that you subscribe and become one of the DK1 original family. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Road to 1K in full effect, featuring my niece in the background. Hey man, you know what it is? Um, but yeah, so speaking about moving on and what is next you know once you've healed and like i said there's not even a once you've healed because it's really an ongoing process and it's not anything that is easy by no means but basically moving on and i'm gonna personalize and i'm gonna speak about me personally you know like where i'm at um what's going on with me you know what are the next steps and everything like that um and please feel free to chime in in the comment section down below let me know for you what worked what didn't work um i've learned so much through this whole entire process that even um you know coping mechanisms that i used to judge before i've learned so much in regards to them that people people deal different and people heal different and that's okay and you have to allow people to deal whichever way works for them without ever trying to convince them otherwise or anything like that so yeah so for me um i hope you guys can hear that um but for me personally you know i uh, ah, you know i used to there was a time somewhere not too long ago i'm not gonna even mention dates but there was a time you know not too long ago where i really thought you know i think i'm ready to i really think i'm ready to move on i think i'm ready to date and whatever uh, until i realized no i'm not but you know what i'm not gonna say that i'm closed off to the idea of it um it's just that i think when you come out of such a difficult situation and you come out of something so intense the scars run deeper than sometimes that you would imagine so i remember i went through a little something which triggered which which triggered me in a big way bigger than what i expected and that's when i realized like it actually isn't fair for me to put myself in a situation to even consider it or consider being with somebody because i'm not completely healed i'm not completely better and i would not be giving the best of myself to any one person at this time but i'm definitely not closed off to it if the lord feels it good if the lord wants to send somebody my way hallelujah praise the lord we i'm kidding ha ah, am i mm okay i'm just kidding but um honestly and this is the thing it's i really feel like it's something that like i said healing is ongoing and you're never truly going to know whether you're truly okay or whether you still have a lot of healing to do until you're put in that situation and some scars will only heal when they when you have to confront them again because going through everyday living you are not necessarily confronted with that situation so sometimes it can feel like it's okay until you are put in that situation and then you realize that oh wait a minute i'm actually not as okay as i thought so um the art of moving on is this every single day every single day just try to do better than what you did yesterday be honest be honest about how you feel be honest about where you are be honest about your emotions be honest about every single thing and you have to be aggressive in your healing you have to be aggressive in moving on you have to recognize and you have to realize that you deserve better and you have to force yourself at times to move on there are so many times where i'm so tempted to check in you know what i'm saying and I'm like, but what good is that going to do me? 
there's no good in that it's not gonna help at anything at all and i remember there was a time um you know sometime where some but like where one of my friends retweeted or reposted something that had you know my ex in it and I, like you don't think it's gonna move you and then it had me not all the way shook but it had me a little bit shook you know and i was like oh okay cool so there's obviously a still a bit of tenderness in that area you know and that's the thing man it's it's an ongoing process and be kind be kind to yourself recognize that when the feelings come and when the emotions come that they're not coming from nothing but that they're coming from a real place and recognize them deal with them work with them and see how you're gonna not how you're gonna make it better but deal with the emotion and don't just like like just push it to the back and just ignore it but no deal with it as it comes so for me personally moving on you know I don't know I don't think right now but then again I realize that sometimes love comes when you least expect it <laughs> so I don't know but right now no I'm not looking to be dating anybody I'm not looking to be in any relationship or anything like that um, but yeah, I'm not even gonna lie, man. There is a I'm kidding. Woo! You think I'm gonna tell you such things? Yeah, yeah. Guys, like even the day I join I did, I don't think I'm ever gonna talk about it. I think I'll be so quiet because I feel like I'm gonna need time to figure out what it is before I let other people even into that bubble, you know? I just I don't know, you know, and it honestly could be a defense mechanism that I somehow built into myself somewhere along the lines of being hurt I don't know but that is just where I am right now so moving on give yourself grace give yourself peace give yourself time you will eventually get there you will eventually get to the place where things don't trigger you anymore um but yeah you're gonna make it and you're gonna be fine but first things first is always taking that first step all right and stay kind stay kind stay kind never allow hurt to make you better never allow hurt to for never allow hurt to let you hurt other people deal with the hurt and realize that not everybody in the world is like that and be kind stay soft stay kind stay loving people you know stay kind do not allow it to make you a hard person because uh, there's just nothing there in that and there is love there are people that will treat you well there's no reason for you to become a monster just because of something that you experienced so next week not next week somewhere this week i'm gonna drop a very short i don't know if i will i don't know if i want to i might just end the series right here i don't think i'm ready to share that just yet yeah actually yeah i'm not gonna drop another video in this series this is gonna be the last video and but i will be back with other videos and then maybe again in i don't know when i will drop that video if ever i will but no promises right now but please make sure that you stay subscribed to this channel if you are new please make sure that you join part of the dk1 original family road to 1k full effect follow me on all my socials dk1 original across the board twitter facebook and instagram i'm very active on all three platforms so best believe that you will be getting content um and yeah make sure that you share this video and please let me know in the comment section down below if this series helped you at all or not at all um what are some of the things that you learned and Share some of your stories with me as well. You know what I'm saying? How has how has it been the healing process? Um, but yeah, you know, love and light. I pray that every single one of you will heal from the things that you don't speak about, and I pray that each and one of you will find peace, the peace that you are looking for. So once again, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you follow me on all my social. Until next time, I love you all so so very much. Bye. Thank you.